Hey Joe, it's folks here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five mistakes that beginners make when they are starting their print-on-demand store. If you are new to my channel, make sure to check out some of my other videos, and if you wanna go through my step-by-step -step course, there's a link down in the description. It is completely free, and it will show you how to start your store. Here on my channel, I've been making a lot of videos lately detailing some of the strategies that I'm using in my own print-on-demand stores, and today I want to detail some of the mistakes that I have made myself and ones that I see a lot of other people make as well. As you're watching this video, if any of these mistakes are ones that you are making, let me know down in the comments below. Mistake number one is starting your store for the wrong reason. What I mean is some people view print on demand as a get rich quick type of business. They watch a few YouTube videos, they see some people talking about how easy it is to make money online and they jump right in. The problem is they are viewing their store as some sort of a lottery ticket, where they spend a week or two throwing a few things together, making a sloppy logo, and basically just piecing a store together really quickly. They then turn on the store and expect the sales to start rolling in. In my opinion, this is one of the worst things that you could do when you are starting your store. You have to view your store as a real business where you are going to be asking real people to give you their real money. You need to make sure that you are creating a professional looking site. You need to make sure that you are choosing a good name and making an awesome logo and ultimately creating products that people actually want to buy. Mistake number two is honestly probably one of the most common ones that I see a lot of people make. This is one that I have been guilty of making myself at times, and I think ultimately this one is just due to the pure excitement that a lot of people feel when they are starting their print-on-demand store. Sometimes when people discover print-on-demand, they get super excited. They open their store and they begin making designs. As they are making designs, they start discovering more print-on-demand suppliers and more products that exist and they just continually make designs to put on their store. Eventually, they end up with a store that has hundreds of designs on it, and they have been spending months building out all of their products. Essentially, they make too much stuff, and then they have a tough time managing it all because the store just has so many different things on it. I'll give you an example here. Recently, I was having a conversation with a student of mine about their new store, and as we began to put some ideas together, we quickly realized that the person wanted to sell like a dozen different products on the store that they were opening. I then told them if they wanted to sell all of those products, they would need to make multiple designs for all of those products, which would ultimately mean that they're going to have about 50 designs on the store, which would mean that they would have to spend the next month or so making all of those designs. This is a mistake for a couple of reasons. The first is when you begin to put that much work into your store before making any sales, you risk becoming very disappointed. Let's say that you do put all that time into your store and you make all those designs and then you ultimately launch and don't get the results that you're looking for. In my experience, people that do that are way more likely to actually just quit print on demand because they put all that work in only to make very little sales. A much better approach would be to choose one or two products and make a couple of designs for each and launch your store and begin to try and make sales. That way you don't spend too much time just building the store. Mistake number three is not subscribing to my channel. Honestly, I'm just kidding, but I'm also sort of serious. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. The real mistake number three is not creating good goals. What I mean by that is some people, again, they start print on demand and they want to basically change their lives overnight and they put way too much pressure on themselves to succeed. One of the biggest things that I recommend students of mine to do is to take things slow and to set realistic goals for themselves. I think a good goal for anybody starting print on demand would be to try and make their first sale within a few weeks of actually opening their store. From there, a good goal would be to try to make sales every single day, at least one sale every single day. Creating realistic goals like that that are a lot easier to achieve is going to lead to ultimately a happier you. 
which means you're going to be achieving goals, you're gonna be running a store, and you're going to feel good about what it is you're doing. Ultimately, in order to actually do that, you're going to have to try and learn as much as possible, which is why, again, at the beginning of the video, I talked about the course that I have. It is completely free. There's a link down in the description. You can start right now, go through all the training videos to begin opening your Shopify store and getting started with social media marketing and more. Mistake number four is kind of in two different parts. The first is, it all revolves around your niche. Either people choose bad niches or they don't choose a niche at all. In my opinion, choosing a great niche is one of the most important parts of running a print-on-demand store. That is because your niche is ultimately what actually gets people interested in the things that you have for sale. If you don't choose a good niche and you're just doing something super abstract, people are really not gonna have an interest in your products because you are just selling abstract items that they can get anywhere. The whole point of print-on-demand is to create niche-specific items that people have never seen before. From time to time, I have also reviewed some super successful print-on-demand stores here on the channel, and you could check out those as well if you wanted to see examples of some great niches. Mistake number five, and this one is also pretty common, is not hiring a designer to make your designs if you are not a designer yourself. Essentially what I'm saying is there's a lot of people out there that are discovering print on demand and they are making their own designs, even if they are not a designer. And ultimately what they are creating are designs that don't look good. In my opinion, if you are someone that does not have the skill to make your own designs, your time would be much better off spent on other things rather than trying to learn how to become a designer. Making great designs is not something that you can learn in a short time. You're either someone that has been doing graphic design for a long time and you already have that skill, or you are not. In my opinion, it is very easy to hire a designer. I have walked a lot of different people through this process, and again, here on my channel, I have videos where I describe the process of hiring someone to make your designs. It is honestly not a scary thing. It doesn't have to be super expensive and it can really help you to actually succeed with your store. I have seen so many people put in so much work on their store only then to never make a single sale because they don't have the skill to actually make their own designs. You can check out places like Fiverr or Upwork to hire a designer. You could even just join a print-on-demand Facebook group and ask people for recommendations. The fact is that there are designers everywhere. You just have to look for them and ultimately take the leap of faith and hire one. So like I said at the beginning, let me know if any of these mistakes uh, are ones that you are currently making. Let me know down in the comments. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I have a lot of other videos here on the channel that could help you out. And thank you guys for watching. If you got value out of this video, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next video.